A beach towel is a beach towel is a beach towel until it becomes a carry-all. And today, I want to show you how to turn a beach towel into something even more useful. We're actually going to make a few pockets. And I want my pocket to be about seven inches deep. That's about the right length for all the things, like your books, your water. Then you're going to take your steamacine. Say that three times fast. Steamacine, steamacine, steamacine. And cut it to seven inches. And then with an iron, go over it. Give it a good, strong iron so that steam -a seam stays really nice and strong. Now you got your pockets and your towel all in one. One of the most difficult moments at the beach, you're laying on your towel, enjoying yourself. You gotta run somewhere. You wanna go jump in the water? What do you do with your credit card, your money, maybe your rings, your watch? I'm gonna show you how to hide them so no one will know. This is a bottle of sunscreen that is pretty much finished. And I wanna slit the end. So you only want one side of the lotion to open up. Just take a paper towel. Once you get it all rinsed out and cleaned out, get some self-adhesive Velcro. Peel off both sides. Give it a good... Mm. Come on, stick your money, your credit cards in there. But I'm not done yet. Mm -mm. Thieves might steal your money. They might steal your credit cards, but they're not going to steal your deodorant. You just take your deodorant, that's almost all used up, and you work that top out. And then you want to get the stick out of there. I'm just going to cut that stick right off. Stick it right back in its place. Suntan and deodorant for the beach. Look again, a secret hiding place for all your valuables. So when it's summertime and the living is easy, you want to have yourself a good pair of flip-flops. Today, I want to show you how to doll them up. And it's so quick and easy. All you got to do is get yourself some ribbon that you love and some fake flowers that match the occasion, and you're good to go. Put every little half inch or so a dab of hot glue. And then I'm going to take my ribbon I want to make it look like it has a bit of a ruffle. And at the very end, you just want to cut it at an angle. Now, for the second stage, I want to make like a little bit of a pad right here for my flower to sit on. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of that ribbon, cut it at an angle, weave it in, weave it out, weave it round, weave it about, disco, flip flop. Whenever I see uh, fake flowers on sale, I grab a bunch. Even if I don't have anything to use them for, I'm going to pick a little pink one because it reminds me of my little six-year-old Meredith. And I'm just going to pop the head of the flower right off and then put a dollop of hot glue right there. And there you have it. We went from plain Jane to pinkalicious. Remember, life is better homemade.